Hello, my dear students. This is Dalai sir, and today again we are back with the, our topic rational number. And today we are going to cover a simple topic from rational number that is how to find the rational number between two given rational numbers. So let's go for it. My dear students, let's see how to find rational number between two given rational numbers. Okay. So for that we we'll go back to our previous topic that was representation of rational number on the number line. So here we can see two numbers. We will consider two numbers. That is one upon six, two upon six, three upon six, five upon six. Okay. So I will write here two numbers. That is one upon six and five upon six. So see what is meant by rational numbers between even two rational numbers. So that is very simple. See, denominator of the fraction is same here. The denominator of both the fraction is same. So we we shall see the numerators. So one and five. So there is two upon six. There is three upon six and four upon six. So these are the three rational numbers between one upon six and five upon six. Okay. So this is the concept of rational numbers between given rational numbers. Okay. And we can use there are two different ways to find the rational numbers between given two rational numbers. So the first method is average method. Of finding rational number between two given rational number, and the second method is LCM method. Okay, second method is LCM method of finding rational number between two given rational numbers. So as we know, LCM is least common multiple. Okay, so let's see how to find the rational number between two given rational number by average method. So let's see what is meant by average method. So let us consider A and B as two given rational numbers. So we know how to find rational uh, average of two given number to any given number. So we know uh, we used to add all of them and we need we need to divide by them by the total numbers, correct? So here we e, we have A and B as two given rational number. So how we will use the average method? A plus B upon two. So by using this formula, if a and b are any two rational numbers, then we can find a rational number between this a and b by using the formula a plus b upon two. Okay. So here, what will happen? Definitely, we will get a certain number. Okay. And by using this method, we can find as many as number we want. Okay. So let us see. Find the three rational numbers between one upon a and one upon two. So as we know, we are going to use the average method. So what is the average method? We have to find the average of the given two numbers. So we have here one upon a and one upon. Two. So let's see how are we going to write. So here we have to add both the numbers. One upon a plus one upon two. And divided by, okay. So it's very simple. First of all, with respect to Boromo's rule, we have to solve this bracket. So here uh, the denominators are eight and two. So we need to make the denominator same. So the second fraction will need to multiply by four. Okay. So the first fraction will be as it is, and the second fraction will become four upon eight divided by. Two. Okay. Now. Now, as the denominators of the rational numbers are same, we can add them. So, four plus one it will become five, and five upon eight. Okay, and divided by it will change into multiply and two. What is the reciprocal of two? Yes, it is one upon. And now we will multiply numerators, numerator, and denominator, denominator. So, five ones are five. And a to the sixteen. So thus, five upon sixteen is a rational number between one upon a and one upon. Okay. So see, this we can write something uh, like this. Okay. So see, in the beginning we were having one upon a. Okay. And here it was one upon two. Now we got a mean number between these two, that is five upon six. Okay. Now you will say, sir, you will say we have to find three rational numbers and we have just found one. Okay. Now for the next two, what we are going to do? 
we will use this one as a a and this one as a b for the next for third rational number what we will do we will use 5.16 as a a and 1 upon 2 as a b so let's find the second rational number that is 1 upon 8 by taking 1 upon 8 and 5 upon 16 okay okay now see we are going to take a as a 1 upon 8 and b as a second rational number that we have got that is 5 upon 16 okay so we are again going to use the same formula a plus b divided by okay now let's see Again, here in the addition of rational number, denominator should be same, and as it is not same, so we will make them same. So, 8 and 16. So, see, we can easily convert 8 into 16 by multiplying this whole rational number by 2. So, the required rational number will become 1 2 are 2 and 8 2 are 16. There is no need to change in this fraction, so it will be as it is 5 upon 16 divided by 2. Now, as the denominator of the rational numbers is same, so we can add them. So let's add common denominator will be 16 and 5 plus 2 will be 7. Divided by 2 will become multiplied by 1 upon 2. As we know, we never used to do division of rational number. So <coughs> division. So 7 upon 16, see division turns into multiplication and 2 becomes 1 upon 2. Then 7 multiplied by 1 that is equal to 7 and 16 to that that is 32. So see by using 1 upon 8 and 5 upon 16 we got the second rational number that is 7 upon 32. Okay. Now see in the beginning we got 5 upon 16. So we will take this one as a and our second number as a b. Okay. So we will be use 5 upon 16 plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2. So, here again 1 upon 2 doesn't have this denominators are not same. We can make it same by multiplying second fraction by 8. So, uh, 5 upon 16 will be added this plus <coughs> it will multiply by 8 by 8. So, 1 is are 8 and 2 is are 16. So, and divided by 2 will be as it is. Now, the denominators are same. Add up them. 5 plus 8, it will be 30 upon 16 and now division will turn into multiplication and 2 will become 1 upon 2. So, 13 1 the 30 and uh, thir 16 to the 32. So, this is the third rational number which we were um, solving the uh, question for. Okay, so this is 5.16 is the first, uh, 7 upon uh, 32 is the second and 13 upon 32 is the third rational number. Now let's see their sequence. Our rational number, our question was 1 upon 8. Okay. Then our uh, rational number we got it was 5 upon 16. Okay. And then our rational number it was 1 upon 2. So we need to find rational number between 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 8. So first rational number we got that is 5 upon 16. Then uh, by using these two, we got a new rational number that is 7 upon 32. And by using these two, we got a new rational number it was 13 upon 30. Okay. So this is the simple way. Now by using these two, we can find one more. By using these two, you can find one more rational number. And so on. Okay. So we you can find any number of rational numbers by using average method. So second method that we are going to see is LCM method. Now LCM is least common multiple. Okay. We need to find LCM of denominator. So as once denominator of the rational number will get same, then we, we can write as many as rational number between given two rational number. Okay. So let's take an example directly for it that is minus 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 2. Okay. So we have to find three rational numbers between uh, let us say minus 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 2. Okay. So, <coughs> here, whenever we will start to find rational numbers by using LCM method, the simple thing that you have to do, you have to find uh, LCM of the denominator. Okay. So, what we will say LCM of 3 and 2 is. So, uh, you know 
right from the fourth sample how to find LCM okay so I will just revise it there is 3 and 2 okay so in the beginning it will be divisible by 3 and then by 2 okay so 2 3s are so LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 okay 2 and 3 by LCM they are 6 now it means each of the denominator we need to convert into 6 okay so minus 2 upon 3 we need to multiply by something okay so that it will convert into 6 so we know 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6 so we need we will multiply here the rational number by 2 so minus 2 multiply by 2 so 2 twos are 4 but as the number is negative so it will become minus 2 upon 6 okay now so the second number we were having that is 1 upon 2 so now we also we will also need to multiply 1 upon 2 by something so it should multiply it should convert it into 6 so we know 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4 and 2 threes are 6 so here we will multiply it by 3 ok so you see 1 three is a 3 and 2 threes are 6 it means we have to write rational numbers instead of minus 2 upon 3 now we have minus 4 upon 6 and instead of 1 upon 2 we have 3 upon 6 so we have to write 3 rational numbers between minus 4 upon 6 and 3 upon 6 ok so it's very simple yeah minus 3 upon 6 then minus 2 upon 6 then minus 1 upon 6 then you can say 0 upon 6 then 1 upon 6 and 2 upon 6 so you can write any three numbers from uh, all these example uh, you know, the solutions okay so what is in short LCM method the first and most important thing is to find LCM of the denominator then the convert each of the rational number into that LCM and then simply write rational numbers between given rational numbers okay so in this way in this session today we have uh, covered the topic that how to find rational numbers between two given rational numbers by using LCM method and by using average method so thank you and keep watching